Hey guys, Ryan from Daytona, here, recording for my work. Um, this video goes regards to Rich Swan and my opinion on the whole thing. I don't think that we should release him because, for one, not I understand there. WWE doesn't want any of that. Just like what they did with Hulk Hogan, they they capitalized on it. But there's gonna be future that he can come back. Just like Austin Aries. Austin Aries was very strict with WWE, and WWE didn't like. And Austin Aries requested his release, and there's just a bunch of things. But this is different, you know. It was something between him and his wife, girlfriend, whatever, domestic. WWE didn't want nothing to do with that because you know how WWE is with their BSR program and stuff like that. They don't want anything to revolve around that. My opinion, I don't think they should have released him, for one, because they didn't have proof that he did it. And I, I'm pretty sure the charges did get dropped and everything was dropped. But I guess WWE just didn't care and they didn't want anything to do with that. Bruce Swan was a good talent. Hopefully, um, I get to meet him one of these days. I want to be able to meet as many wrestlers as I can. I do have his Elite. I'm planning on picking up his basic wrestler. I, I want to get his action figures before um, before the, uh, can't even think of it, before they don't have them anymore, because there's only two Rich Swan figures. Same thing with Enzo. Did we really capitalize on that? I feel bad for Enzo. He was one of my favorite wrestlers. Enzo, you know, he had a good gimmick. He knew how to win on there. He, know, he knew how to talk on the mic other than Roman Reigns. Um, Rich Swan, I wish there was nothing going on with Rich Swan. Rich Swan deserves bigger and better things. You know, he's a great talent. Really wish that we didn't part ways with him as they, that we likes to just instantly go to things, especially the Hulk Hogan thing, Enzo thing, and it's gonna be a concurring thing. So guys that screw up in the future, it's gonna be just a straight to release. They don't, WWE doesn't want to have to handle any of that for lawsuits and this and that or whatever it has to be. WWE doesn't want to have to get questions asked so they just go get really, they just release them. They don't want to have to hear it and it's sad that um, if, if Rich Swan was innocent or if he wasn't, I feel bad for the guy because, you know, he was one of the guys, he was one of the top faces in the Cruiserweight division and if I'm not mistaken, he was supposed to win the Cruiserweight title again. I'm not sure. Because Enzo, he wasn't great. He wasn't a great champion. And Enzo deserved, like, he just he was just a gimmick. I don't think he was going to be around for long. Enzo was on the main roster for two years. I can't remember. Two years, I think. Less than a little. Well, going on three years, maybe? No, two years, not even two years. Um, Rich Swan. I really feel bad for Rich Swan. He's a good guy. He's a good wrestler. Um, for future stuff, wrestlers, they're gonna face consequences, and you know, it's their actions, man. Their actions for any any future superstar, any current guys, they're gonna face the consequences that. It's going to be different for guys like Randy Orton or John Cena or The Rock because they just have, they're, they're special. And I don't think they would get the same treatment. There's some guys that won't get the same treatment just because they're, they're just special and high up. That'll be always parts ways with some of the guys and sometimes they end up coming back. Sam Punk, that's going to happen. CM Punk says it's not going to happen, then he says it will, then it's a maybe. Um, there's a will, there's a way. They'll always be back. Austin Aries just stated that he's open to a WWE return, which would be good. I would love to see Austin Aries back in WWE. Honestly, as WWE champion, I want to see Austin Aries WWE champion more than anybody. Um, Tal Sailor does deserve a world title. I'm not trying to go off topic, but guys like Austin Aries, Rich Swan, they just, they had a bad going from WWE, they had a bad exit. They could say they mutually parted, parted ways, but I don't think Rich Swan wanted that. But WWE wanted that more than Rich Swan. Rich Swan didn't want that. They're gonna, they're gonna say that they mutually parted ways. 
just so like, oh yeah, we agree that we're gonna part ways. No, that probably wasn't how Rich Swan wanted it. He, I guess it was his only choice to be, they don't want him around. They're probably gonna release him for a while and then bring him back after this thing's died down. Like they're doing, that's, that's what they're doing with Hulk Hogan right now. It's been a, year, a couple years ever since the Hulk Hogan incident and they released Hulk Hogan. Or they didn't really release him. He was, he was under a Legends contract. It doesn't even count as a release. But they're gonna bring back Hogan soon. Honestly, I wouldn't see that. I will, probably we might see Enzo, Enzo back. I mean, one if if Enzo is proven innocent, they're gonna bring Enzo back for sure before the end of this year. They're probably gonna bring Rich Swan back. They just want everything to die down. But I think the whole thing with Rich Swan has already died down. But it's gonna happen, and Rich Swan. Really hope I see you back. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is my opinion on the Rich Swan incident. And either future and the, all the future and past incidents that's gonna happen. This is how WWE handles their things because they don't want to happen any bullshit. And I guess like no one can blame them, but it it's really shitty how WWE handles their business. It really is. They don't handle it right. I mean, I guess they have to do what they have to do, but taking away their jobs just like that, like especially someone Rich Swan so young. Um, Rich Swan was probably one of the top cruiserweight guys above, he's probably second to Neville, and where the hell's Neville? They're gonna have no cruiserweight division soon because they just lost three cruiserweight guys. Within a couple months, Neville's gone, Rich Swan's gone, and now Enzo's gone, and Enzo's gone, and then I think Noam Dar, he's injured, so now they're bringing all these NXT guys to fill in the spots, and They lost Austin Aries last year. They're, they're not going to have a good cruiserweight division. Brian Kendrick's injured. They're not going to have a good cruiserweight division. They have to like bring back Rey Mysterio for their cruiserweight division. They need to start revamping it. They wanted it. I thought it was going to be a thing with TJP. TJP's still my guy in the cruiserweight division no matter what. TJP's my cruiser. He's my guy. Like I watched him ever since TNA. You know, TJP's a great wrestler. I really hope cruiserweight division can step up their game. Guys like um, Tony Nese. Guys like... Buddy Murphy, I guess. <laughs> 204.4 pounds. Um, who else in the cruiserweight division do I really want to see succeed? Jack Gallagher. I wouldn't mind Jack Gallagher getting up there. Um, those are the guys that are going to be on the top. Ari Davari, I would love to see him become something just because of what I think his brother did. His brother was Davari. Or maybe his cousin or something, I'm not sure. But Ari Davari, I feel like they could make something out of him good gimmick for that guy it's a lot of cruiserweights with good potential with this cruiserweight tournament going around i really hope the guy that wins it is either tjp or cedric alexander it, i wouldn't doubt it if it comes down to them too i really wouldn't doubt it those are my picks for the finals of the cruiserweight uh i guess the cruiserweight tournament the 16-man cruiserweight tournament um, if it doesn't get down to those two guys then I really hope someone wins it that actually deserves it and it's not Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy doesn't deserve it. I don't think Roderick Strong deserves it either. Roderick Strong ain't a cruiserweight guy. You need guys that can high fly. Guys, this is my message to not only Rich Swans, part, his, him parting ways with the WWE, but it's also the message of the cruiserweight division, this is my opinion on what they need to do. They need to get some guys in there that know what the hell they're doing. Thank you guys for watching.